Hi guys, I've been getting quite a lot of uh, questions about how to set up a weapon and what all the different settings are doing. So I'm just going to go through it one more time and I'm gonna, going to be doing it slowly. So if you're already comfortable with setting up a weapon using the system, you don't really need to watch this video. But if you are having problems with it, um, this is for you. So let's begin. This is just a standard project and it's set up um, to use the weapons anyway. Go under weapons and you have the base weapon. Uh, as usual, you start by right clicking and create blueprint based on this. And we have a ton of settings and I'm going to go over all of them. Max ammo. This is, if you imagine you have a magazine in your gun, this is the count of the bullets. Max ammo. So if you have a normal AK, I believe it has 30 bullets maximum in the magazine. This is the number. If you want your weapon to be able to shoot a single shot, semi-automatic, it's this one single shot and you check it burst this means you can fire two three four five as many shots as you want with one click on the mouse um, and let's say you set it to a burst of three you just click once and you get a burst of three shots full auto hold down the trigger and you just keep firing and then we have fire rates um, fire rate single shot how fast can you make a shot and this is in seconds so every one point uh, zero point one second I can do a single shot a burst one click and I get three bullets and this is the spacing between each of these bullets for example so this is it but how often can I fire a burst well, that's a longer delay, so um, this is how fast can the burst follow each other. And this is the full rate, uh, fire rate for full auto. And it's I've just set it to the same 0 0.1 seconds. That's 10 bullets uh, per second, around 600 bullets per minute. And burst count. This is if you set it up to shoot with a burst this is how many bullets it will fire and we have the muscle velocity and this is in uh, units per second and one unit in unreal engine is one centimeter so and if you want meters it takes a hundred centimeters on one meter so 730 meters you type in 730 and then because it's it you have to multiply by 100 you put two zeros and this is 730 meters per second i don't know how many yards that is around i don't know 78 100 yards or something like that. uh 780 yards i believe not sure weapon name this is just a name for uh your ui um, the caliber diameter this is in millimeters so if you want to uh, I don't know a 50 cal is 12.5 or so millimeters um, so yeah it's in millimeters bullet mass this is in grams how much does the bullet weigh I don't know ounces in pounds so yeah you have to do it in grams. Drag, this is how aerodynamic the bullet is. And it can go, uh, I recommend values between 0 0.5 and, and 2 for perhaps. And the higher the number, the more drag you have. And an arrow would be 2 or 3, I don't know. But yeah, play around with it. Jam risk, how often does it jam? And this is just the percentage value. So 
if you wanted to jam 50% of the time, you just type in 50. But that's basically all the time, so it it's going to be a, an unusable gun. So just keep it low. Base damage. This is if you want your weapon to do some damage. Um, you obviously want that, but yeah, this is where you set the damage. Um, you can also work with the dual value, but that's hidden um, because not many people want that. Blast projectile count. If you are making a shotgun and you say you have, I don't know, eight pellets, 25 pellets, you put it in here. And this gives you a blast with uh, maybe some spread on it. So put that in here. Reload time in seconds. Uh, muscle name. This is where you spawn the bullet. Uh, the default is just set to muscle. You can, if you set your weapon up in another way, you can just type in the name here, and that that's how it's going to be used. Vertical spread. How much is a single shot going to be up or uh, above or below the barrel? Uh, play around with it. Values around ten. I consider a high amount of spread. The same with the horizontal spread, it's to the left and to the right. Um, yep, you can, it, it, it's just the same how far to the left and how far to the right. Vertical kick, this is recoil. If you're not using animations for your recoil, you can do it like this. Uh, you can put in some values here. Um, yeah, just put in some values. Uh, values in zero to five works for this. And if you want the, the weapon to go a little bit to the left maybe, or a little bit to the right, you also have, have some horizontal kick. Shoot to location is uh, used for third person. Um, yeah, and then we, ha we have a zeroing value this is right now the bullet just goes straight and if you're aiming straight the bullet is going to go below the aiming line um, you can have if you put in a value here it's the bullet is not going to go straight it's going to go up a little bit and it's going to go above your aim line so this is just like uh, this is how zeroing works, so it, it makes your gun accurate to, y you can find out what range you want it to be accur accurate to, but it, it, it's going to take some testing on your part. Um, then we have the current state. You should set the current ammo to the same as the max ammo when you spawn the gun, else you can have 10 in your max ammo but there's actually 30 in your gun and then the rest of the settings you don't really have to play with um, you can set a projectile mesh if you want to you don't have to you can select a weapon mesh I recommend this I have included a few a shotgun for example or a sniper sniper rifle um, and then I have some muscle effects and an impact effect and a debug trace. Uh, the debug trace, if you want your weapon to test your weapon, um, you can have it for one frame. It's just going to leave a red line really quickly for duration. It's going to be on screen for a couple of seconds and persistent. It's going to be on your screen forever. Um, the muscle flash and the impact effect, those are um, you have to make blueprints for this because a weapon effect is based on this base weapon effect and a base weapon effect is just it's nothing more than a particle and a sound and we we spawn this on the client and on the server and this is needed for replications uh, replication so if you want to make a new uh, weapon effect a new impact effect or muscle effect you just right click and create a blueprint based on this and then you can select them in here 
so that's basically it that was a slow walkthrough of all this, all the settings in this project um, i hope it's useful for you bye